The next assumption we have is a juicy one. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm fuming at reading this. I'm just fuming. Students are arrogant and elitist. You have no friends. You know, he's got the guns, you know, he's got the, he's got the slip back hair. Strongly disagree with that. It's really got me fuming. It's really outrageous that. Welcome back, the Medication Nation. And yes, we have another absolute juicy banger for you guys today. It's Medical Assumptions Part 2. Make sure you like, subscribe as always, and let's get into the video. So, the first assumption is that medicine has so much content. I would have to say this is true. There is lots and lots of content. Uh, but you know, it's part and parcel of the job and what you've signed up to. And the majority of people that study medicine do medicine because, you know, yes, they wanna help people, um, they wanna impact the lives of others in a positive and beneficial way. However, you know, they also, to an extent, like studying in, a, in an almost sad way. We, we, we like to study, we like to learn, and that is one of the reasons why a lot of us do choose medicine, or that's an element of it anyway. Uh, there is an incredible amount of content to learn, and you can sort of imagine why. You need to know how the body works, how it responds to certain drugs, the anatomy, how it goes wrong in response to certain diseases, and how different treatments can work. You know, this is just, you know, a small selection of what you need to know in terms of medicine. And beyond that, you also need to know how to conduct research, read papers, because, you know, medicine is a constantly evolving and changing career. You need to keep on top of things. You're constantly learning. So there is an endless amount of content, I would say, almost an infinite amount of content. Next assumption that we've got is you have no free time or friends. So, right, we'll, we'll, break, we'll break this down one by one. So in terms of no free time, I disagree with that. In fact, I would say at medical school currently, I have more free time than I've ever had in my entire life. And that's simply because at school, you literally go there, what, for 8.30 till 3.30, you come back, then you've got homework, you've got dinner, and then you sleep. So. Whereas now, I would say I'm working no more than maybe two to three hours a day, if that, and if on weekends, maybe even less. Uh, however, I won't lie to you, obviously, when it comes to exam season, we obviously ramp that right up. But on a day-to-day -day basis, I've got a lot of free time on my hands, hence why I'm, I'm doing the YouTube. I mean, if I was literally working non-stop, nine to five, every single day, grinding it out, I probably wouldn't be sat here in front of you guys today. I'd probably be, you know, deep or, um, you know, I'll probably be deep into a textbook. Now to answer the second part, we have no friends. Uh, you know, I feel, you know, I feel a, bit, a bit taken aback by that, you know? No friends. Um, no, no, I'd have, I'd have to strongly disagree with that. Everyone has a lot of friends and it's necessary. You, you know, you need that support network. You need that stress outlet. You need to be able to have a good time, uh, fun with your friends. And you know, a great thing about medicine is the fact that within medicine, you have a wide range of people, but also personalities. So, you know, everyone can almost find anyone that they sort of get along with. You know, making friends is, is very, very easy within our career. Ah, oh, friends, football friends. Oh, best friends forever and ever. You know, maybe what I would say is the fact that medics tend to congregate with other medics simply because they like to talk about medicine and, and, and pretty much nothing else that uh, I would say, you know, a, a lot of them. Shots fired! Shots fired! Or also the fact that maybe some non-medics won't be able to understand like a, a normal working day of a medical student or a doctor. So, you know, in, in that respect, you know, medical students do tend to form these sort of cliques. And that's what I've noticed, especially, you know, this compounded by the fact that we have our very own sports clubs. So I feel like, you know, I can see where this might be coming from, but you know, of course um, we, have, we have friends, except me. So, so subscribe so you can be my friend. The next assumption we have is a juicy one. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm fuming at reading this. I'm just fuming. And that is students are arrogant and elitist. Now, I understand you know, where this might be coming from in the fact that a lot of TV programs and films out there, they portray you know, your classic cardiothoracic surgeon, big young man in his 20s. He's got the guns, you know, he's got the, he's got the slip back hair. 
uh, and he walks around like he owns the place. And I can see where this perception might be coming from. But honestly, medical students, 99% of them are some of the nicest, sweetest, most humble people uh, you will ever meet. And yes, of course, you are going to get that tiny 1% that is a bit cocky, is a bit arrogant. However, you know, where don't you have those people? Um, and almost, they're almost an essential part of society, um, you know, some may argue, you know, to just keep that, keep that balance. But yeah, I would say the majority of medical students are the nicest, uh, friendliest, and most easy to talk to people uh, you could ever imagine. So strongly disagree with that. It's really got me fuming. It's really outrageous that. So the next assumption that we've got is medical students are all bad at math. Wow, that's hit me. That's hit me quite hard. It's, it's quite, quite close to home, that, you know? Shots fired. But I would say, you know, th this isn't true. I mean, yes, to a certain extent, I haven't really used much maths in terms of my degree. It's more sort of biology, memory, recall processes. There's less in terms of calculations. Maybe you would do a few drug calculations here and there. However, I would say, you know, there's much less maths that I've been exposed to compared to, for instance, um, my school school days. But at the end of the day, I probably wouldn't. I mean, obviously we have, you know, we are numerate and you're gonna have some medics that are extremely good at maths, probably did, you know, you know those people at school that did like further, 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 additional, additional, further, extra, higher level. One hour later. Additional, additional, further, further maths. Yeah, of course you're gonna get those people. Um, and you're also getting people that just did the single maths like me. Um, and you're also getting people that didn't even do maths. So, you know, there's a wide variety of abilities, but I can say for certainty, we are all numerates. We all have, you know, an ability to hold our own uh, when it comes to the maths. Okay, thank you very much for tuning in to part two of medical assumptions. Make sure that you smash that like button. It really fires me up. And maybe, maybe I'll give you guys part three. It's a popular series. Uh, we'll see. Shoots!